everybody. Today we are heading to Off World. It is the sister bar slash restaurant of Storm Crow Manor, which we took you to in our last video. We've actually been there before and we loved it so much. I think it opened like in September of 2022 maybe, right? That's right. So it opened in September last year and the only time that we've been there was within the first month that it opened. So, super excited to go back. Hope you enjoyed it today. As previously mentioned, Offworld is only a recent addition to the Toronto bar scene from the same people that brought you Stormcrow Manor that we featured in a previous video. While the originators are the same though, then that's where a lot of the similarities end. The first difference is obvious. While Offworld still has space-themed references in its menu and has some visual stimuli and memorabilia dotted around the place, it definitely isn't as chock full of references to fandoms as Stormcrow. This allows for more of an emphasis on it being an upscale lounge bar than anything else. The decor and furniture are art deco in nature and reminiscent of if any of the Star Trek characters attended a swanky cocktail bar. Due to the fact that it is meant to be more of a cocktail bar, then this also means that the food options are more cocktail bar style than pub style. Wings, fish and chips and curries give way to charcuterie boards, flatbreads and steak tartare. They once also did Buckashuck oysters as a happy hour offer on Sundays, but that seems to have been replaced by half price bottles of wine, which, to be fair, is still a nice offer. Other happy hour specials are $10 classic cocktails on Wednesdays from 5pm and for the first few hours of Thursday through Saturday until 7pm, they do half price nano burgers, aka sliders. Because it is a cocktail bar, that's where the special qualities of this place are really felt in Offworld's cocktail menu. Each of their drinks from this selection has been carefully curated by their staff to give you a unique experience with each drink order, either in presentation or in flavor. In addition to this, they also have shot options referred to as nanotonics, each of which is infused with a health-related booster of some variety, ranging from whey protein powder to additional vitamins and minerals to help your immune system. Alternatively, if you'd rather not overcomplicate things and would prefer something simpler, like a margarita, old-fashioned or mojito, then you're definitely welcome to ask for those too. different drinks on the menu that really intrigued me but the most of all was this one which is called the Zano Fauna 
The reason for that is because in amongst it being a gin-based cocktail, it actually, as you can see here, has a certain interesting garnish. It turns out that this is a giant grasshopper, uh, which has been fried and put on an orange. And so the challenge is if you can ingest that and finish your drink, then you are part of a very exclusive club of people. I have knowingly ingested insects before, but not in full form. So this is gonna be a bit of a challenge for me personally. It's gonna be an all new experience. So uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. I can see its eyes, it's a bit weird. All right, as you can see, this is a gigantic grasshopper. <laughs> no kisses for you after. I'll have to, yeah, like definitely get some mints on the way home. All right, here goes nothing. I'll tell you what, actually not bad. Yeah, I think some of it's actually taken on like the taste of the drink as well, so it kind of helped take the edge off. It sounded crunchy. Oh, it's still crunchy. I still got it going on there. It's actually quite nice. I kind of get the hype. How about? Mm. Maybe a sip of the drink will help it go down a bit better. Yeah, it's um, it's taking a while to chew. Right. Mm. I'm not usually a gin guy, but that's delicious. Really, really good. So yeah, again, much with what we did in Stormcrow, if you feel like having a bit of a sense of adventure and going for something really out there, this is the drink. So it turns out, for having eaten that grasshopper, you actually get a little pin badge to say that you've completed this, which has a little bug on it. And also, you get a certificate with your name on it to say that you've done it. So, yeah, how about that? And in theme with everything, it says, presented to the designated individual in commemoration of the consumption of an entire Xenofauna insectoid garnish, as witnessed duly by representatives of Offworld Space Bar. Offworld Inks takes no responsibility for future digestive issues or xenological egg implantation. Void were prohibited by galactic law. No non-insectoid animals were harmed in the creation of the Xenofauna cocktail. And so yeah, I got this down. Just for chewing a bug. We've been here before, and last time we were here, we had the steak tartare as well as the bakasha oysters, and they were amazing. But this is what caught our eye that we had to come back for, and it's these foie gras nano burgers or sliders, and they come with a fig jam. So super excited to try them. Let's give this a taste test. Very intrigued by this. I mean, it doesn't really even taste like foie gras, it just tastes like a really, really good quality burger. Uh, but that big jam in particular is spectacular. Really, really good. Oh my god. Right? Yeah, that's so good. Like the fig jam too is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. Next on my cocktail hit list is the warp bubble, which apparently they partially prepare right in front of you. So, intrigued to see how this one's gonna go. Alright, Mariana's gonna set you up with the bubble. Oh boy, okay. Okay, thank you very much. That's wild. <laughs> Oh my word, that's delicious. That is so good. As with Stormcrow, you can really feel the unique identity of this place that is created and maintained with such care. From the moment that you sit down, you're transported to an experience like nothing you may have seen, heard, or tasted before. And for that, this place is well worth giving a go. Well, it's safe to say that was just as good the second time round as it was the first. I can truly say this place is out of this world. Until the next time, take care. And keep smiling.
bar and restaurant that's kind of like a sister 